Hospital using flattening filter free beams and electronic tissue compensation for breast irradiation with deep inspiration breath hold for left sided breast cancer. Or can simply breathe in and hold it, reducing the strain of deep inspiration breath holds and whole breast irradiation. Take in a deep breath and hold it. Now imagine you were diagnosed with breast cancer. You're about to begin your first radiation therapy treatment. Your heart is racing. Then you're instructed to hold your breath. For patients with left-sided breast cancers undergoing radiation therapy, this deep inspiration breath hold technique allows us to reduce the dose to their heart, which reduces possible cardiac toxicities. By this point in my presentation, I'm sure most of you are about ready to give up and we're only halfway through a typical treatment time. As you can see, this technique puts strain on our patients. This led my team and I to ask the question, what can we do to ease that burden without sacrificing plan quality? To explain how we attempted to do this, we need to take a step back and cover some basics. In radiation therapy, we are tasked with treating the cancer and sparing the healthy tissue. While this sounds simple, it's actually quite challenging and requires an entire team of physicists, planners, therapists, and physicians to ensure we reach our goal. Each patient receives a treatment plan specific to them and their anatomy, which is then delivered by a linear accelerator, or LINAC, that generates, in the case of breast cancer, ionizing radiation in the form of photons that destroy that cancer. The LINAC is built with modifiers that help us shape our outgoing radiation beam. One of those modifiers is a flattening filter, which acts exactly as you'd expect, it flattens our beam. Traditionally, this is favorable to deliver a homogeneous dose to a large target in the most efficient manner. Imagine I ask you to draw a straight line, be pretty helpful if I gave you a straight ruler, right? That flattening filter is our straight ruler. However, that filter also absorbs some of our outgoing photons, making for an efficient delivery, when time is of the essence. So we asked, to speed up the delivery of the treatment plan, can we use a flattening filter-free beam to achieve an equivalent plan? We discovered that using a planning technique called electronic tissue compensation, we can manually edit a map of where photons will deposit the dose, and use a flattening filter-free beam to deliver a plan that is equivalent to, if not better than, the one using the flattened beam. Now you may be asking, equivalent by what standards? When a physician's reviewing a plan, they have various dosimetric endpoints or dose goals for both the target and the normal tissues. Using those dosimetric endpoints, we can compare plans side by side to see which one covers more of the target and spares more of the normal tissues. When the plan using the flattened beam is compared to the flattening filter-free plan, they were statistically and clinically identical for all endpoints except one. The flattening filter-free plan was even better at sparing the right breast. It also reduced the delivery time by 20 to 42 percent. These results will hopefully encourage the field of radiation oncology to adopt this novel method of using a flattening filter-free beam and electronic tissue compensation to deliver whole breast radiation for left-sided breast cancers and reduce the strain of the deep inspiration breath holds on our patients, making their treatments as easy as breathing. Thank you.